Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down Arena once again today, and it is Saturday, so we are going to jump into what I said I was going to do, the Holiday Popper. We've got a Merfolk Popper deck that we will be using. Select it here. Boom. You have two losses, uh, and you get stuff for each win. I believe it's one win. You get one of these Land of War Elves if you get all five. Uh, Firebound's Research, both alternative art, pretty cool, free to play. Let's see how our Merfolk deck does. Hopefully this new mic setup is working out nicely. Let me know if anything sounds off to you guys. Try it out. And then uh, I have another mic that I can try out too if this one's not that great. Alright, we got stuff we can play. We'll keep it. At Falcon. I've seen him a lot lately. It's like people just remember that he exists or something. Do that, pass the turn. <clears throat> well, not a great way to start, but uh, we'll get our Shaper's Apprentice up in the air. Hopefully help us out a little bit. Yeah, let's... Uh... Nah, let's get our flyers up. Do this one and then go into our, next, our uh, other shaper's apprentice. <clears throat> Tell you what, White's got a lot of great cards for Popper. Alright, another land, that'll help us out. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do Shade Bearer. We'll just get this guy flying and we'll pump him up. Three two, not bad. Um and let's throw out another one as well. Let's get some more blockers up. We will not attack with it. next turn, maybe disperse something next turn, or uh, even Water Trap Reaper might be nice. <clears throat> see what they play here. They're going to pass it to us. That'll be nice. I'd like to hold up Titanic Growth, so we're gonna switch it to them. What are you guys going to do? Oh, oops, that was on me. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, hmm, I could have dispersed something at the end of their turn. Went deep root, and then we'll uh, 
pass to them again. <laughs> hmm, alright, it'll resolve. To attack in. So I think we will disperse. Let's disperse that guy. Hmm. The founder would be nice. Wish I could buff up this guy one more. That'd be nice as well. Good water trap weaver. weaver. Uh, I'm gonna swing in with my flyers here. I'll just do this. Take the damage and the turn. Could have played a uh, deeper warrior. I should have. Both got a lot of cards in hand. Yep, yep. Life linker. It's fine. We'll attack in with the flyer. Uh, I'm just gonna let it. I'm just gonna take the one. So I can swing in for a lot next turn. Get another island. Hmm. Go to combat. We're tapped out, so we're safe to do this play. And then we will play, oh, let's see here, I think we're going to do Wayfinder, get some more beefiness out, potentially. Hmm. I'm going to keep this on top because this could help us win the game here if they put back their flyer. Who has a lifelink here? Just the two vampires? Okay. Let's see what they do. Okay, another Hunted Witness. There's a griffin. So... I disperse the griffin back to their hand. Water Trap Weaver the Falcon. I think we will do that plan of attack here. 
So let's do... Oh, trap. Tap him down. Go to combat. Swing for five. I messed that up again. I'm always doing that. I don't know why I'm always doing that. I have to do it before blocks are declared. And I keep messing that up, and that just cost me three. So, very interesting. He's got full man up. Which, that doesn't look pretty. I feel like I know what they have in hand here. They're going to give him all a boost. Um, so, we have to block some of these things. Have to. This little block. This. Uh, actually, I would prefer to just block this one. I think that should be good. Here comes the boost. Interesting. Hmm. Can we survive next turn? Can we swing in for some damage here. These, yeah, okay. So I think we're just gonna swing in with a three while it's tapped, and we're gonna be forced to block, jump block some things. Unless they have another inspiring charge, and that would not be good. Oh, they've got another inspiring charge. Definitely do. Have to block these. Yeah, we're pretty much dead, I believe. All right, interesting. Good game. All right, let's jump back into it. We need an island, uh, but we have a couple things we can do for a few turns at least. Uh, keep it. Hmm, okay, interesting. Give him the nice because that's what we're doing. need to grab a forest next turn and we'll be okay. Good.
Just keep punching away, one and one. Miss Cloak. Or we can attack in with both. And we'll take, we'll pass to them. We'll opt at the end of their turn. Uh, we'll resolve. We'll take three. Let's get a card. Uh, another Miss Cloak. Hmm. It's interesting. I want to keep it, but. Mm. It's not the best. We're gonna wait a turn to play it, I think. Alright, deep root. Okay, so we can deep root into Elite. That'll be okay. Fine with that. We got blockers up. for another potential five. Yep. Right. We both are kind of missing our, our mana drops. So that helps. Okay. That's fine. Still got my two warriors, which will be very useful. And when can they do that? Okay, they can do that next turn. Do this. Could have actually just taken that. Hmm. I'm going to do Wayfinder this turn. What do we get? Jade bear, we'll keep that on top. Swing in for three. We're ahead of pace here. And that will take out a deep root, which is expected, but uh, tap them out of mana pretty much. Gonna hit for two, we still got a good clock. Passing a turn so we can hit them for quite a bit. Let's see here. Keep up spell pierce. They may have a disperse here. Potentially. But they don't. Drop them to one. They gotta do something drastic. GG. Alright, we got a first win. We're gonna play it out, it looks like. It's fine by me. Okay. Cool, first win. Let's see how far we can get here. I did try out this deck in Popper uh, a couple days ago, and we went. Uh, what was our total victory? I think uh, we went one and two. <laughs> So let's see if we can get better than one and two. <laughs> it's not the best popper deck out there. If anybody's got suggestions of how to make it better, let me know. But we gotta represent the Merfolk and Pop, right? Alright, so that's our lands, a deep root warrior into Titanic growth. Disperse. 
Uh, we can use a little bit more gas here. Oh, we definitely need some more. I'm gonna get to this this boy. I don't like it. Already hit me for one. We're gonna be behind a turn. So, have fun. The Grove Stalker will be helpful as well. Uh, very helpful. Unblockable for powers over two. So they're bringing in tapped, and they're gonna hit me for another one. We got a shock. Hmm. So two Grove Stalkers are up. I think. I think I want to put him out first. Hmm. Yeah, let's put him out first. He's less of a threat, but if we can. Pop him off next turn. Might be nice. Get in for some big damage. Alright. They're tapped out. That's good. Whenever you cast an instrument. Okay. about his ability. Gosh dang it. We forgot about that. Hmm. Let's try it again, I guess. Chances are he has more. He's hit me for a lot, so... If we can survive this next turn, we'll Titanic Growth even up the playing field a little bit here. I don't know if it's going to survive, though. But... He's, if he's got a shock, he needs to play it now just to get in more damage. That'd be a smart move. Yep, there it is. Okay. Oh, to my face. Ugh. Ugh. Thanks, bro. Going to 12. Jeez. Be nice if we could find a land here. Alright, thank you. I think we are going to go for the same game plan, though. Have another shock. It'd almost be better to take the hit and then use the shock next turn when this goes away and pump up this guy. But he doesn't want to do that. So he could have hit me for a lot next turn if he had just taken the hit. But his choice. It's not looking good. I can do to deal with this wind mage except just hold up disperse so maybe I'll do that yeah let's put down deep root warrior and we'll pass to them 
disperse it. Hopefully after they uh, tap out a little bit. I want them to use instance. There we go. Still gonna take a hit. Gonna hit him for a bunch before we die. Because if they get. You can't necessarily kill us this turn, but if it comes very close, we can try to force a block from him. Taste. Okay. We'll trade. All right. So we're gonna go to combat. We'll give him a GG, like we did whatever. But uh, if they choose to block, we're gonna river help to them. I don't want to. So we are going to wait. Hmm. It's going to help us the most here. Yep, Grove Stalker. And we'll end the turn. I don't think there's really any solutions here. Uh, he definitely can kill us. So we are gonna opt for an answer. <laughs> That's not an answer. That's not an answer either. Alright, so we want one and two again. <laughs> it's not the best, guys. Alright. <laughs> it's not the best popper deck. Definitely not. We'll claim our prize. Get our land war elves. Ugh. It's rough. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. If you guys have any suggestions for uh, anything I could do to make the deck a little bit better, I'll show you what's in it really quick. Uh, so we got Mystical Carolds, two Ops, two Spell Pierce, four Jade Bearers, three Disperse, four Shaper's Apprentice, four Warriors, four Stalkers, four Boons, four Titanics, Three Weavers, two Wayfinders, and then we've got our Islands and Woodland Streams to boot. So if you guys have any suggestions for better popper cards that I could throw in here, or a better theme I could try to go for, let me know. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow for a Booster Kraken video. Thanks.